Hello, Timmy Obeer here, and today I have a video showing some of the lesser known features of the LogBlock plugin. In case you didn't know, LogBlock is a very, very useful plugin for bucket servers that allow to track player edits in the world, keeps track of the time and place and block and everything, and it's great for grief prevention and rollback. However, it also has some other tools and other logging options that people aren't as well known about. Anyway, it keeps track of the login, logout times, and total play times of all the players in the server in addition to their first login time. You can use these to get some really useful analytical information about the players on your server and how they play and when they play and pretty much can help you make your server better and aim different stuff like advertising and even different new content for the server depending on what kind of times people play on it. So anyway, um, since it uses an SQL database to store all the information for LogBlock, you can query it using different LogBlock or SQL commands. Uh, it's not a very, very hard language to learn, but um, anyway, I've made up some queries that'll bring some information up that's useful for us. This is the what you can use to find the first logins of all the players on the server. And put it here, I'll explain it for you. Put it here, select is just the select function, it's what you're trying to find. It's finding the date difference between now and the date of their first logon. So how many days it's been since they first logged on. That's just from the table. And then it has it's limiting it so that it has to be less than 300 because for some reason this certain stuff like fire that's been logged on for 200 years, but whatever. And then um, it'll order it in the order of the table first log on in descending order. So then you can go ahead and query that, and it'll bring up all the list to here. And you can go ahead and display a chart for that. And here what it's showing is each one of these lines is day. So it's these are the players all here that have been on li that first logged in 39 days ago. So the longer segments here are the ones where you've got the most new players. I got my no s a lot of new players here and here, and more recently here four to four and three days ago. And then two days ago I got barely any new players, and good amount yesterday. So you can use this to find when you got most of the new players on your server and what you did, and maybe you can figure that out to use to repeat. Um, then you can there's another well we go back to the SQL query. And you can do the same thing for the last time you've had players logged on, the players logged on. So this use this to find out the last time a player logged on your server. So how long it's been since different players been on your server. You core this and then go ahead and graph it. Um, and it'll show you that this most of our players have been online in the past four or five days. The really old ones, not so many have been on. The, I didn't have many players back then, so there aren't that many that have been offline that long. More so here, but then, yeah, it gets more and more. Because we've been getting more, as the server grows, more and more new players come on, but not a lot on this day. So you can see that there were a lot on today. These are the ones that are on today. Zero. All these players were on today. It's probably the most. And then yesterday and three, two days ago and three days ago. And you can use that to figure out when people were online and stuff. Just for future reference, and that, I'm sure there's many different ways besides this certain thing I'm using, the PHP my admin. There's a lot of different things that people can use to do their blog block table through. This is what my server provider gives us. So you probably just have to find where you can put in SQL queries. They'll all be the same, most likely, because the PHP version should probably still... These are pretty basic commands. This is one of my favorite ones. It'll call up all the online times for all your players who have been online for more than zero seconds and order in ascending order. So we'll go ahead and query that. By the way, I put all these in a description if you want to copy those out of there. We'll display a chart. This is an interesting one because see, you can see that there's only a few players who put in a lot of time. I believe that's still me at the top. Puts the most time into the server. And you can see that most of the players have something around 900 seconds. So you lose most of your new players after like a thousand seconds. And it's exponential. And there's a couple this day around 13,000. And these are the pretty much the regular players in here. Regular players, they're on for a little while. They're sort of new, sort of old. Maybe they're old, but they don't play much. But yeah, a small amount of players are doing the most amount of stuff. And if you go ahead and go in pie graph mode here, you can see that the player 
who spends the most time on the server has almost 5% of the total play time. So, yeah, that's me. 800,000 seconds. We can calculate that out, and it's a long time I spent on the server, but it's all been worth it and fun. Anyway, yeah, you can see that a small percentage of the players have about a lot of the play time. Um, and with that, you can go ahead and find the average online time of all your players on the server. And this just averages the online time. And it's 21,000 seconds is the average. Open up a new tab here. Um, and that is it in hours. So the average player spends just, over, just under 6 hours on the server. Which is pretty good, honestly. That's really good. Even though we have the players who spend like 5 days up there to average out all the other ones. But yeah, that's the average amount of hours spent on the server. And then in addition to that, we can do the total amount of time spent by all the players on the server. So we go to SQL, recap that in, do a query, the same thing as sum. And we get, oh, wow, that's a lot of seconds. 16,144,000 seconds, almost. More than that. That's a lot of time. <laughs> And then 60, that's minutes, that's hours, days. 186 days, almost 167, 187 I mean. So that's how much time cumulatively people have spent on the server, which is amazing for me. But anyway, you could use this for your own server, and it's fairly useful to see and just different information about your server. You can even query the other databases about the blocks. This is just the player database. You can query the blocks database, like I'll show you. These are the different databases that head LogBlock has. And you can query the different things, like you can see everyone, what people write on signs. <laughs> Danger lava. Anyway, yeah, it's really cool and you can do a lot with it. And hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.